Maya coming to you with another video. It's been a long time, my friends, but I'm here. I just want to show you what I bought from Dollarama. And uh, it's my small little haul. The last one for the year. And the one that's going to be helpful to me in the year 2024. New year. So here we go. Okay, I got myself a sketchbook, my friends. Hear me out. I am not very good at drawing. But I love drawing. I love artists. I think, oh my goodness, people that know how to draw has such a unique skill. I don't know. I've heard of people learning to draw on their own and they're expert at what they do. So I kind of feel a little bit, feel a little bit envious of them because I don't know how to draw for beans. There are tons of websites out there, guys, that teach you how to draw. And I like the idea of just learning to draw simple things i don't care what it is um but um i just want to learn to draw just something quick easy and i just find that um you know this is what i want to do now so i bought myself a, a sketchbook and i'm going to learn how to draw just simple things nothing big nothing fancy that's all right so that's one thing i got from the dollar store the next thing i got from the dollar store are these I bought these because I have um, I have some little stuff that I wanted to store in these things they do come with lids for, I got these from Dollarama and these are $1.50 for two they come in up here like this and uh, I like I really like these because they're stackable first of all um, they're small just like I like them and um, just easy to use and here I decided it has a clamp that allows it to just click in and stable like that so i really like it i'm hoping to make use of this i have some tiny stuff that i wanted to just you know finally organize and be a little bit um more organized for the new year right i bought these um my friends and these are just letters wooden letters from the dollar tree and these are used as different projects i'm going to be using a different project um, to do different things that I want. I just want to, you know, take up, be a little bit more creative, do some little more art and arts and crafts and stuff like that. I really enjoy this. I picked up these. I don't know what I'm going to use them for yet, but I will find a use, you know. And I just find that this container is perfect for storing my letters so I don't have them all over the place and I won't have trouble um, finding them, you know. It's, it's the year of being a little bit more organized for me i'm trying to um <clears throat> i'm trying to do things a little bit differently oh, i gotta fix it proper i'm trying to do things a little bit differently this year um and hopefully you know kind of get a little bit more hang on things i i haven't been putting out a lot of effort into to youtube in anymore or you know so it is what it is i do try and pop up now and then and kind of um do a video and then you know go about my business okay so these containers are great for this and i love it see storage i could easily find my wooden um letter sets now because i have it in a nice storage i think i'm going to go back and get a couple more of these be nice and neat and cute um yes i love them okay so that and then of course i got some of these and these are just sticky notes and uh, these are these ones um so these now are the dollar trees a dollar fifty for uh 400 now and they come into different colors as you can see now i don't know about um like the I don't know about staples and all those stores, how much it costs. It might be a little bit cheaper at those stores, but I don't know because I haven't gone in. But I like using these. These help me to stay organized because when I do have something to do, and especially at work, I just jot down what I need and, you know, stick it on my desk. And uh, voila. I just really, really enjoy using these. And these are not my favorite go-to things. This is one of my favorite. These are post-it. But they don't call it post-it for the dollar store. So um, it's just good for taking notes 
and of course our self adhesive on the back and it just sticks right so it's just a great um tool to have when you've been organized and trying to organize yourself especially in your office it just works right and sometimes i make a note on these stick it at the front door so when i'm leaving in the morning you know this reminds me that i need to get something i need to stop somewhere but i got these 400 at the dollar store and this is actually perfect in here as well see Ta-da! this fits nicely i love it huh See, lots of uses for these things. So I think I'm going to go back and get a couple more of these because I, I think I'm going to use them. Well, okay. I got these little jars because I'm trying to organize my um, spice cupboard again. I got these from Dollarama and they're quite useful. You don't have to use these in the kitchen, but you can also use these in your um on your desk, your off in your office on your desk as well. But I bought these ones specifically for um my kitchen i'm gonna be putting some spice in these and the spice that i don't really use often right so i really like the color look at this and you know what guys they also have these in different color lids so they had the yellow they had the blue and i think they had black as well so i picked up the right just for a little bit of pop and uh, yeah i'm gonna be using these quite a lot right and as i said i might end up going back and getting some more of these because i can also use them on my office desk use them in my car and stuff like that so these small jars are very useful and these are dollar fifty each each okay so hmm. and they had quite a few of these at the spot that i went to so i don't think i you know they'll run out of these ones but i think it's just cute 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 um what else do i got more gel pens because you know i did the gel pens before and uh, i love these i really love them they don't last for too long um though guys once you start using them yeah um, you use them for a bit it starts to run out and then you just have to toss them but i love the colors they're really nice and bright and i find that um when i was doing the, my planning videos they really were helpful and i just love gel pens so i'm gonna be <laughs> i'm gonna be doing, using them again to do some hopefully um some more planning videos and stuff like that i'm not sure what direction i'm going with the channel yet because i'm certain i lost a little bit of motivation but buying these stuff at dollarama is kind of motivating me and you know what guys dollarama okay first of all i must say that dollar tree was my favorite spot because dollarama was kind of uh not my right spot but now dollarama has come so far with the stuff that they have my friends you you have to go to dollarama now dollar tree needs to now um sharpen up honestly they were the leaders of the pack before but now dollarama is just taking completely over now keep in mind barely yeah not not a lot of stuff in dollarama is a dollar anymore um barely anything for dollar fifty and everything is like close to four or five dollars but some really really nice stuff is in there the stores that i go to is very organized well laid out and just variety of stuff oh my goodness so dollarama is a spot my friends dollarama is not the spot so listen dollar tree you need to hop up and uh, yeah so Here's my gel pens. I'm going to be using them and hopefully I can use them when I'm learning how to draw different things. And I'm going to share some of my drawings with you guys. Some of my artwork, I should say. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's carry on. So my friends, I, I this is a new find for me because I didn't know this, these actually exist. These are bra extension, right? If you can see it, I hope you can see it bra extension and just like you have your bra if the straps are going at the back just like they show here if the straps are going you know you can easily fix it see you know or add it on to extend your bra if you're kind of getting bigger <laughs> at the top just like i am but these are this is so good and it was only a dollar fifty and i picked it up because i'm thinking hmm maybe i can replace my bra straps or you know what I mean or extend it if I needed to but it's just such a brilliant idea 
I like it. It's new for me. I don't know what the rest of you guys. And I did buy a treat for myself here. <laughs> I haven't seen this in a while, so I picked up um, a bag. This was only a dollar. This is the first dollar stuff I ever found for a dollar at a Dollarama because everything, as I said, is over a dollar. These are just gumballs, and I like them. You remember those gumball machines, my friend? And yeah, nice and run. Mmm. 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 Yeah, a dollar gumball. Okay. I also got some lettering stencils, my friends. And I like to use this for designing and this for um my art as well. I'm trying to, as I said, get into a little bit of, uh, I'm trying to get a little bit more creative. So I'm going to use this. So this also can help me when I'm preparing stuff at work as well. So. So stencils, $1.50 on the whole half of it is here. And numbers as well. This is what I bought you. And this is plastic that it's on. So it's easily wiped down, you know? Dollarama is a good place to buy children's books. And also other books just alike, right? This is art cover. I was shocked to see such good quality. Look at all of these amazing pictures that's on this book, right? Some amazing picture. Hardcover. This was four dollars though. It's not a it's not an awful price because for hardcover books, it can be very very pricey, right? I thought okay, this is a good book, you know. If you're thinking about buying children's book for the birthday, Christmas gift, whatever the case may be, for a New Year gift. The dollar, the Dollarama is the best place to go to get it, or any dollar store, I assume, because I love going into the book areas. Brian, the smell of beer, it caught my eye, and um, because it was big, hardcover, and the pictures look pretty good, right? The words are pretty good. The words are pretty big, not too many words on one page, and that's what I love for a children's book, and so, um, I picked it up myself and uh, um i'm going to give this as a gift i'm going to give be giving this away for, as a gift um to my friend's child so i picked it up four dollars so what i found at dollarama amazed me okay this is a book it's called the five minutes gratitude journal now last year as i told you guys or the year before I start taking I start doing therapy for myself right found this book five dollars though at Dollarama they have as I said great books for children great books for adults alike they have romance books if you're in it I was shocked to find this book so I picked it up and I'm going to be starting to use it right and this is a, a book of gratitude and i wanted to start that this year 2024 to write down um you know just a gratitude journal and so i was happy to see this one it was five bucks and i bought it people i'm grateful for and it gives me the you know information that you can tack in right and i love it Wow, just it's just neat. I just I just thought it was brilliant. Now, if you're looking for a last minute gift for Secret Santa, I don't know why anyone is doing Secret Santa. Dollarama is also a good place to go to get things for Secret Santa. And can you imagine getting this from a, as a, from your Secret Santa? Right, it's a great idea. I think it's such a brilliant book. I can't wait to start using it. And uh, I'm going to keep it at my bedside and, you know, start myself a gratitude journal for 2024. And that's it. That's it, my friend. That's all I have for my little haul for 2024. Thank you for watching.